Hey guys, Harry here, back with another Rick Lane vlog. Uh, doing a vo voiceover style video today. Uh, it's been a while. I've not been recording any anything on site really, any voiceovers really. I do my uh, my training vlogs now and again, um, which I've been sort of training consistently really for the last six months or so, and been working on my running for about a year now. Uh, so yeah, I've just been focusing on my running and uh, just getting stuff done outside of work really. I've not really been putting much focus into YouTube. Um, just falling out of, falling out of love. We're doing it really, uh, but I'm getting back into it. I, wa I watched the Super Trial competition um, from last week. Uh, Charlie won it. Congratulations! Very surprised at Ash Bahoney for coming second. I've only seen a little bit of his Insta stuff or his business, his uh, Rick Lane business, but he does mostly private stuff and doesn't get the big long on runs like you would on site every day. So I was very surprised he put down the numbers he did. And then there's some of the guys, guys who'd done the spec mix before, didn't have as good a day as he wanted and stuff, and I don't really know any of the other guys who did it, but um, uh, they put down fucking 300 plus bricks at least, which is phenomenal in an hour. Uh, I, in this clip, was about, this raw footage was about 25 minutes, I've cut some of it down where you can't see me laying and where I'm out of focus or out of picture. Uh, and I think I got about 150 bricks down in 25 minutes so it, you could ultimately say that might be like 300 plus bricks in an hour if I was to go at top speed and ideal conditions but you know I'm probably not at the level of those super trial guys uh, at the present and I've probably not got the headspace enough to really want to practice or get set up to do any sort of speed challenges even though I can go fast in bursts I think to keep it up in a long, long period of time would be something else uh, but I would like to do something like that in the future and there is some, I uh, heard there is going to be some regional competitions so it's something that does, that does interest to me. Um, but when it comes to work I've um, I've just been working steady away, Dean's still with us, uh, it's just me, Dean and Paul and some, we're just sort of, I tend to be one on one most of the time, sometimes all of us are in and we have to give plots a big push for a day or something like that. Um, yeah, I'm just flexible, I just work around everyone when everyone wants to work and I suppose Dean and Paul are technically kind of part-time but um, it all works, it all work. we all model, model through together and it all works pretty well. Um, I don't have the sort of, at the moment because of the work we've been on and we've been on this little site finishing off these last sort of 10 plots, uh, sort of muddling in, taking over some lifts and just, just generally not not having his own plots all the way. This one that I'm on now is uh, built from the damp, but uh, I've been taking other, other people's plots and whatnot, just staying in work, getting everyone a wage in, and it's just uh, not really got into a flow to record, you know. Um, I've been doing lifts and then had to break off after a couple of days of starting a lift and now I'm going to square another lift up I've done, and then maybe go and give someone else a push if it needs to go up quicker. and. You know, just general sight stuff when it gets tight, you know, you just sort of jump in lift to lift to lift, not always on the most perfect of drops. Um, we got, we've been doing probably four day a week for the last month. We lost a day this week with Gobbo. Uh, I lost a day the other week with Rain. I'm sure we lost a day with something else. We've lost a couple of days with insulation on this job like a month or, month or two back. Um, you know, there's been times where I've just lost time with stuff. Um, we lost a day with Gobbo being a bit stiff but I've been using my whisk and whatnot to keep it going. This ready mix is pretty much when, when you've got one of those uh, SDS whisks I've got and use tubs you can pretty much make any ready mix usable uh, with enough sort of know-how and I mean, I've had a few questions about the tubs and uh, people ask me about the trowel and stuff. Still using like a, either the bucket trowel cut down, which I haven't had a chance to cut another one down since my last one broke. Um, the weld goes on them because they're not solid forged, but you get about six months out of them. Same with these RSTs, you get about six months out of them before the handle deteriorates. Um, so, you know, I'm just, just working just uh, steady away really. I'm not doing any crazy hours, putting any crazy numbers down. Um, I've probably got the last time when we did this second lift I probably did like a couple of thousand brick days but not really anything like I'm tr I was I was trying to hit them every a couple of couple every week just putting in like silly hours to try to do them uh, but I've just been just getting as money in and going home because I've been no normally one on one sort of low, lower stress because I get rushed sometimes on lifts and I can get rushed throughout a week or 
throughout two weeks if they're wanting something done at a certain date. So I just try to just, you know, get enough done to pay everyone and a little bit more than day work and then go home at like three o'clock. So really I've been taking a, a back step, a step back when it comes to working. I've just been sort of, you know, con, uh, consolidating my time at, time at work because when I do, when you do silly hours all the time, doing like, you know, even though I've been known to do a lot of late night, late days, you you spend a lot, you spend a lot of your time wasted. You're not if you're not efficient with your time, you can you can easily waste time. So I've just been getting there. You know, sometimes I'll get there at eight, sometimes half eight. Get there straight up, straight up, straight up on the scaffold or whatever I'm doing, and just work all the way till three o'clock. You know, all the way through seven hours. It's. Uh, it's pretty pretty cushy, pretty cushy. Seven hours straight through. I, I work faster. I don't eat anything really. I just have a either a, have an energy drink or take a coffee or just have a have, have some pop or some water with me throughout the day. And yeah, it's pretty much the way I've been doing it for the last probably the last three months since I've been on this site. Um, that first that firstly video where I was sort of walling with my top off. And it was like the first bit of <laughs> bit of sun we had. And then basically where we've lived, it's been raining and shit weather, well, shitty summer weather, should I say? Um, uh, traditional English weather, you know, for the last three months. But it's been nice, been mild, been easier to work in, you know. Um, and I'll, and uh, you know, it's just been pleasant, really. Uh, shorts and I wear shorts all year round anyway, but you know, shorts and t-shirt weather and no silly sunburn really. So it's been over a year now. Uh, I've been. Stone cold sober, uh, not a drop. I don't smoke. Uh, I don't know anything really. You know? So I'm um, just been. Uh, it's been a monumental life change. Obviously, I don't spend my time hanging all the time and drinking on a weekend. But I've got back into my love for running. Uh, back to for, back to actual fitness instead of just weightlifting and powerlifting. That isn't technically very healthy for you, especially at the higher weight classes that I was competing in. Um, but yeah, I've sort of got my love back for fitness. I've always loved running, um, but I've just been taking it to a different level at the moment. I've dropped my lightest body weight I've been in since I was probably a teenager. I'm about 93 to 95 kilo, depending on how my diet's going, um, how many fucking brownies I bake, or fucking, uh, you know, how much French toast I binge through. But um, it's, uh, it's going pretty well. It's made work hell of a lot easier. Uh, it has increased my speed, to be honest, on the trial uh, significantly. And with this sort of consolidated step back of sort of working, a bit more sort of mindfulness when I'm working, I've been able to get more done. Um, you know, in a less in you know a less less hours at work really. Um, also, been using the tubs for a year. Tubs and the small tile setting trial. Uh, a, you know, there's you know they're a different way to work. You know, I think the only way you should work but it's you know the mortar stays fantastic all the time in them i love using this little trowel you get you know i get i've had fucking more thousand brick days than i can count on me you know i can remember now um so i've you know firmly laid a lot more bricks with this little trowel than i ever have you know a normal you know traditional size trowel and especially and i think a lot of that's because of working out of tubs because i don't have to get as much mortar um, you know do as many trips to the to the tub I don't have to get, have the laborer you know do, doing as much labor you know because the mortars there you know we can just keep work walling um, it does have a massive massive um, massive benefit when you're using uh, when you're walling with Connie bricks I was you know, with the Connie bricks, if you you know on a site with them and you're doing massive long runs because you can only go like 10 or 12 course in a day and you're sort of running out big fucking 80 brick runs, you know you can you can sort of have less mortar station, you know less mortar boards effectively because the tubs hold more mortar. Uh, you can just keep walling throughout the day because obviously the Connie bricks don't go off. There was some you know. You know, Connie bricks are a nightmare to work with, but you can get some silly numbers down with those since you don't have to point them very often. Uh, especially with the tubs as well, you know, I've and you can get silly numbers down with clay bricks as well in the in the right conditions. You know, when it's a little bit wetter and they don't go, you know don't have to join them as quick. You know, um, the tubs because you're not sort of you know having to keep rolling the mortar about, keep it workable. You just keep getting it nice and wet in tubs. 
you know, it does speed you up, and I think that's a big reason why I've been hitting, you know, the bigger numbers because of the tubs. You know, uh, some people would say if I got, you know, a super labor or whatever, and to, you know, set my boards up and whatnot, you know, you can do as just as much with boards, but yeah, it needs, you know, more and more labor, and you know, it's not what you always have. You know, I'm I work as a one and one primarily, sometimes one and two, and sometimes I've got, you know. Paul going off loading a lift out in front, then I'll have Dean with me, but he wants to be primarily walling because he's sort of improver status at the moment. Um, so I want him walling because if he was walling, he's making making you know help pay his wage. So you know the less labour we can do, just getting more the better. So it's it definitely has its pros. Um, so yeah, uh, when it comes to you know recording future videos. Um, I've been doing sort of less profile, you know, setting up less profiles because I haven't really been wanting to work late to set them up the night before or get there early to set them up beforehand. So I've been doing a lot more corners or I've just been setting up two profiles and doing tailing out a corner from one of them and just running in with, with the other profile. So, you know, you know, it always, you know, profiles aren't always uh, the end or be all if you don't set them up. And I think it is good to keep your free hand fast. But, um, you know, I like building freehand, you know, and I've been just doing what I like recently, you know, what works for me. Because, uh, you know, when work, when you're not always 100% obsessed with working, and you shouldn't be 100% obsessed with working all the time, you, you know, should have a bit of, you know, work life balance. You know, you just want to do what you feel comfortable with. So if you feel comfortable with working a certain way, do that, you know. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, there's definitely a lot of ways to go about stuff. Um, this next top out, I'm doing like half another top out. Uh, this one's now done. What the footage you see in this one, but I'm gonna try a little profile setup for that one. Um, I've got some block work up the day before, uh, you know, today, it's Friday. Uh, I'm gonna try to uh, see what how many bricks I can do with profiles on one of these um, these cut ups. Uh, the cuts are already done for these. We get the cuts like delivered in a pack, so uh, you can just put them on as you go. You don't need to put a line on to do your cuts either with this sort of top out. See a lot of guys trying to put a line on. I've done put a line on myself on the, this on, the, on another top out I did similar to this one, and it's just a lot slower. I'll sh I'll, uh, I'll mention at the end how I do them, but just slide my level up. I need to do it freehand. So here's a little trick when I'm laying long spread, whether it's you know long spread pick and dip or putting the joint on. Uh, with these perforated bricks, I just do a little flip with my trowel hand. So put my trowel hand down uh, towards the you know towards the brick. So I'm not having to turn my whole body and pick my brick up with my other hand and I just flip it to the other hand like that, you know. It's a nice little touch, you can do that with a little trowel, you know. Um, especially with a little handle on it as well because you're sort of gripping it with, you know, your four fingers or three fingers and you just flick one of your fingers off of it and pick the brick up. It's, you know, a little touch, you know, it just makes the day a little bit easier. Um, you can do it with Connie bricks as well, I think, but it's a little bit harder because they're heavier. And it works. It works best with the with the uh, holes in the brick. You can just put one finger into the brick and flick it up, flick it to your other hand, so you haven't got to move your body. So yeah, it's a nice little touch. Just makes life a little bit easier. So no music today. I, I was going to put some music on for some of the uh, clips, but I cancelled my Artlist subscription uh, because I didn't bother making many videos. I just use some non-copyrighted stuff, you know, uh, that I find on YouTube now. So, um, but yeah, that's the video, guys. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching. I'll be recording another video uh, in a few, in a couple of weeks, maybe a few weeks. I'm gonna just go back to my old organic styles of video. So if I'm ever on a, a particularly nice little drop, I'll record a little bit for you guys, do a little voiceover, maybe a bit of time lapse, maybe. And uh, I hope everyone's staying busy, staying in work. I know it's a bit tight at the moment, but you know get after it when you can and I will uh, check in with you guys in a couple of weeks. Thanks for watching. So yeah that was today. Um, 10 to 3. Now, uh, yeah, check it out. So yeah, I prefer to do the cuts as I go up. It's uh, a lot quicker. You know half, uh, three quarter then a little end, and then or you get the bigger, bigger cut. It's quite easier. Uh, yeah, nice little, uh, little top out. Right, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.